guys, it's Shannon, and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. This is kind of like a Valentine's Day get ready with me. This is probably like what I would do if I was getting ready to go out for a Valentine's Day date, or even if I was single, going to like an anti-Valentine's Day party with some of my friends. I would probably put on a face like this. So if you want to see how I did this makeup and just like hang out with me and chit chat while we get ready, then keep watching. This is what my hair looks naturally when I don't like do anything and it's just out of the shower. Surprise! <laughs> uh, but I'm going to do my hair after I do my makeup. So I got some brushes sent for review. They are by Ace Vini. And they sent me a whole bunch of them, so I'm gonna try them out in this video and see how I like them. Kinda like these like smaller ones because they're really good to travel with and they seem like really soft. And they're cruelty free and vegan. They also sent me an eyeshadow palette, so I figured I'd give this a try. It looks like this, got like a ton of colors. Um, really inexpensive brand. I use the Smashbox primer. Oops, I need to get a new one because this is like all gone. Come on. <laughs> oh my god, I just literally just got it everywhere. Oh my god, what the hell is in my hair? Oh my god, it got in my hair. <laughs> How did it even get there? That's so crazy. Alright, well, you don't belong there, buddy. So I always put a primer on before my foundation because my skin is like really sensitive, as you can probably see with this new camera. It's like really good quality, so you can see like I have a lot of redness, I have a lot of, um, like I'm very acne prone. The primers that I use always have like a little bit of salicylic acid in it and I feel like it kind of just helps moisturize my face a little bit and then I throw my foundation on and it kind of is just like a, like a block between, you know, my skin and the foundation so it doesn't like completely break me out when I wear it all day. Also, I don't wear a moisturizer, like I wash my face and then I never put a moisturizer on. You guys are probably like, oh my gosh, Shannon, beauty fail, but... I don't know what it is. My skin's just so sensitive. It doesn't matter what like type of moisturizer I put on. It like literally makes my whole face break out. So I have to be really careful and I just skip out on moisturizer. So this is kind of like a moisturizer and a primer all in one for me. And I really do feel like it kind of moisturizes my face a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw on some foundation. I am doing this uh, on camera on purpose because like all, I look crazy right now. All girls like have nose hairs guys have them everyone has them and if you don't trim your nose hairs when you put foundation on like I'm showing you right now your foundation can actually get on your little nose hairs make them white and make them stand out and girl you don't want that my little nose hairs are due for a trim so I'm actually gonna show this to you and hopefully you can see it uh, you just go in with like a pair of you know tiny little scissors just be very careful you don't cut yourself and just go in there and just, you know, cut those little suckers out. They're not cute, girls. Get those out of your nose. And now I'm just going in with my um, NARS uh, Creamy Concealer in Custard. This is like a popular concealer. I feel like everyone uses this. It's probably just because it works so good. And it just has like really good coverage. <music> The whole point of concealer is to have like, you know, a lighter coverage in that area from the rest of your foundation. At least for me, that's like what I like. So instead of like rubbing it out to blend it, I kind of just like pat it in and then and, and barely like really move it around. I kind of want it to stay where it's at and then, you know, just blend the outer edges out. Then just to uh, set that, I do it pretty quickly because if not it can get kind of creasy. I'm just going in with my Shade and Light palette with my uh, MAC 116 brush and going into this light shade here and then just putting it over. The way that I apply uh, this stuff with this MAC 116 brush, it's actually like, I really don't like this MAC brush for like how it feels on my face. Like it works and gets the job done, but it like kind of pokes me. The way that like I apply it, I try doing it in a different way, but I just do that to like set set that shit so it doesn't crease because ain't nobody got time for that creasing nonsense. Okay, so once that's done, I normally go in and do eyeshadow, so I'm probably going to do that. Also, I just want to just put a little disclaimer out there. This is not a makeup tutorial because I, I enjoy doing it. Sometimes I do a good job with my makeup and sometimes it's just looking like a hot mess. This is more just like a get ready with me, how I do my makeup. So I'm going to go in with this palette here. I really like this. I've been using this a lot lately. Uh, I just really like the colors on it. What I've been doing, I've been changing up things a little bit differently. Um, I've been taking my Smith 232 brush 
and going in with this um, taupe color right here with the blending brush. If you use this brush, it's like eyeshadow for dummies. I need to set my feet, kind of waiting to do that in case I get fallout. I normally will put um, stuff underneath my eyes to prevent the fallout, but right now I'm just too lazy and I don't have the stuff in here right now. So using this brush, I really like it because I feel like it kind of is faster. Like you could do your eyeshadow faster and it kind of just like gets it there and blends it out at the same time for you, which is really nice. It just makes it easier, the whole blending process. See, wasn't that so fast? And I feel like it's kind of like mostly blended. So obviously I'll go over it some more when I'm all done and like fix some stuff. But I just kind of like using this brush. It's like kind of like a little trick to get things done faster. Most of the time you have like a eyeshadow brush, you know, like this. This is the Sigma E55 brush. And normally I would go in and put that it on with this and then take this brush and blend it out. But, you know, I just am too lazy. <laughs> It's like the lazy girl's guide to makeup and so just I just found like using this one day because I was in a rush and I was just like wow that just worked really well and I don't even need to use the other brush so I've been using this and I kind of like it isn't that so cool it just kind of like blends out so much faster you don't really need to use an extra brush like saves so much time to go in with a uh, sable because I'm gonna do kind of like a smoky eye tonight but instead of using this brush this was more for like the crease I am gonna go in with my uh, Sigma E55 brush into this color sable I'm going to this is like where I start to get a lot of fallout I'm gonna kind of pack this on the lid and then I'm going to blend it out a little bit Obviously I'm not done with my eyeshadow yet, but I am going to take this uh, Laura Mercier uh, Loose Translucent Powder and just set my face because I hate feeling like I have a wet face and ugh, it just drives me crazy. It's like I hate having the feel of like foundation on my face and I feel like if I set it a loose powder, it makes that feeling go away a little bit more. It makes me feel better about having makeup on my face. I love wearing makeup, but I hate the way foundation feels on my face. Does anybody else get that? I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that like it bothers me so much, but I really just do not like the feel of it on my face and I like, can't wait to get it off. But for some reason I feel like if I set it, it doesn't feel as bad. This Laura Mercier powder that I got, I really love this stuff. It's like one of my favorite loose translucent powders. I was liking the Makeup Forever, but this is way better. It is a little pricier, but it's worth the price in my opinion. I do things kind of like out of order but there is a method to my madness. I always use the same eyeliner, it's my favorite. It's just Max Smolder Eyeliner Pencil and I've been using this for years and I haven't really found one that I like more than I like this one. It's just so pigmented and it's really creamy and I like it because I put it like on, in my lash line and then I just take my ring finger and smudge it out and I just really like the way that it looks. And it has like really good stay power. Then I'm going to go in my uh, kite line, I think that's what it's called, the, your upper waterline thingy. So that's all I use the uh, Max Smolder eyeliner for. I normally will go over the bottom lash line with a shadow just to lock that in there. And I normally use my E55 shading brush to do that, so I'm probably just going to go in with this uh, sable color. Just go underneath like right on top of that black liner just to like lock it in and I kind of like the way the brown looks a little bit over it. Blend the shit out of there. <clears throat> so that that's kind of how I like it. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. And sometimes like if I'm feeling like really crazy and dramatic, I already do like super dramatic makeup. I think you guys know it's kind of like my signature look. I don't really have like a natural makeup look. Everyone's like, you do too much eyeliner around your eyes, like too much black. But that's just like my thing. So I just like it. So if I'm feeling like even more dramatic <laughs> than that, um, in the center, like right here, I'll just take that down a little bit with the eyeshadow. I feel like it kind of just like looks really like grungy 90s. I think it's kind of cool looking. So... 
and do it. I'm going to put my eyebrows on and then I'm going to go back and do the rest of my eyeshadow. I'm going to go in with the um, Brow Pal from The Balm. This is in light brown. I actually should be using a darker color on my eyebrows since my hair is so dark, but I haven't found a color that I really like yet. Uh, I do have the Anastasia Beverly Hills like dip brow and I need to freaking use that. I still haven't used it. It's probably like dried out by now. I got it so long ago. Oh, I can't believe I have a new background. I didn't even like, duh. I, I had it for so long and I just never put it up. And what happened was that I did buy that uh, this background a while ago. I started watching like other makeup people and I saw that a lot of people had the same one and I was like, God dang it, <laughs> of course. Like, and I didn't want to have to go buy another one and I was like, you know what, F it. I'm just going to put it up anyways because it looks cool. There's so many people on YouTube. It's like you try to stand out and be different and... You know, it's hard when there's so many other people that, you know, people just think similar and sometimes people do the same things and not even like trying to copy or on purpose. It's just, you know, coincidental. Normally, if I see that, I try to like stay away from what I see a lot of other people have because I do like to try to be different. But with the background thing, I was just like, oh, I don't care, whatever. I have it and... It looks cool, so I'm going to use it. Those of you guys that don't know, I wrote a song. I normally write songs when I'm, like, going through, like, a, a really emotional time of my life. I'm not a singer. Like, I don't think that I sing well. In fact, like, I'm actually embarrassed to sing in front of people. Kind of, like, a fear that I'm overcoming. Just because everyone loves to sing, right? Like, some of us are not very good at singing and should probably do it, like, when they're not in front of people. But, um... I don't know. It's just something I really like. I've actually been doing it for a really long time, like since I was really young. I wrote my first song when I was eight years old, and it's a song called Missy. It's actually on iTunes, but it sounds like shit because I did it myself, like on GarageBand in my garage in my old house. I like recorded it myself, and I put it on iTunes. I don't know what I was thinking. It actually got good reviews. People seemed to like it, which was really surprising to me. I went through another emotional time, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know after my wedding. And I decided to write another song during that time. And this time I worked with a music producer and I am actually going to be shooting a music video for that. And I'm really excited. I've been working really closely with, with the production team, going over just like ideas and concepts. And those fucking things take a really long time. Like I honestly, I never shot, um, I had shot music videos before. They're actually on my YouTube channel. You guys can go there and make fun of me if you want. I don't care. They're, they are embarrassing as shit, but they're, they're up there on YouTube. I think I put them up, like, I, I had shot them, like, you know, years ago. You could see, like, some of them are shot at, like, my old house. It's, like, pre-nose job and stuff. And I decided to put them on YouTube because one of them I made for Travis for Valentine's Day a few years ago. I sent it to him. It was just, like, you know, I didn't plan on anyone else seeing it other than Travis. But then I decided to share it with you guys. Had it on on my YouTube channel. I just didn't have it on public, so I put it public. So I've been writing music and making videos for a while, but they're like super amateur. And so I decided to like take it a step up since my channel is like growing. And I don't know. I just thought it would be entertaining. And even if you guys hate it, like whatever. At least it's be something you guys can like laugh at and make fun of me. I don't really care. But for me, music is just like art. It's like an outlet and. I just really love doing it and like enjoy doing it and so I do it. My eyebrows look okay you guys. I can't really tell on camera like so far away and the monitor is like literally like this big. So it's like really hard to see what I'm doing um, other than in this mirror and this mirror with the lighting is completely different than what it looks like on camera. So shout out to all those beauty gurus that do makeup tutorials all the time. I don't know how you got girls do it. <laughs> it's hard as hell. Now I'm going to finish doing my eyeshadow. Now that my eyebrows are on, I'm going to show you like what I do. I'm going in with the Lime Crime uh, palette, the Venus Lime Crime palette, and I'm going in with Aura, this like really light color right here. This is like a beautiful highlight color. I love it. And I'm just going to go underneath my brow bone with this or, you know, on my brow bone, or whatever, however you call it. I don't know the freaking technical terms for this stuff. And I need to, like, tweeze my eyebrows. And I'm also going to, because I use the same brushes a lot, I'm going to um, take that same color and then just, like, pop it in the corner of my eyes right here. Maybe if I do it that way, you could see it better. 
and do the same thing on the other side. I am going to take this Muse color right here and I'm actually going to use my finger for this because it, it just helps me get more precise on the areas that I want it to go. So I literally just put like a little bit on my finger like that and then I'm putting it like right here in this area and I'll just show you. Um, so I just take it and then I kind of just smudge it smudge it out and then I'll just get a little bit more on my finger put it in here so it doesn't look like it just kind of cut off and then I'll kind of just blend it out with my fingers until it's like the color I want because I don't want it super dark and I really want it to kind of just blend in and so yeah that's how I do it I'm actually going to go back over underneath my eyes because I feel like I can see a little bit of that smolder eyeliner smudging so I'm going to take this uh, creation color right here and just go underneath a little bit with that just to like set it in more and just add a little bit more color underneath the eyes. And hopefully that will help the smit. Someone is knocking on my door. I'm home alone and I'm not expecting someone. This is scary. That's creepy, you guys. I'm like totally creeped out right now. Normally if we get a knock on the door like that, it's like a package, but there was no package. Of course that happens when Travis is not here. He's at the gym right now. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put top eyeliner on and I'm going to be using this um, Alame liquid liner, but I don't use the brush that it comes with because I don't feel like I have very good control with it. So I take this Sigma E65 small angled brush and I basically just take it from the wand that it comes on and just swipe some of the product onto this and then I feel like it's easier for me to control and to apply it this way, so sometimes I get... I do a good job with this and sometimes I don't. Yeah, like today I did not do a very good line. So, <laughs> so unsanitary, but I'm doing it, you guys. I'm going for it. I'm just going to try to clean up this line because I really messed it up. I said I was going to use this palette and I totally forgot to uh, reach for it so I'm just gonna try like one of the colors in it to see like how I like it. What shall we use? So many colors. This is good if you're like just starting out with makeup to get like you know just an inexpensive palette that has like literally every shade. You could do neutrals, crazy colors, like you know you could use this for Halloween. Um, so I kind of like having these big fun palettes. I mean you know what maybe we'll do like some cool like pop in the middle and I'll use that one and uh, we'll see what that looks like. Just kind of going over the brown a little bit with that um, goldish color. The eyeshadow is actually pretty pigmented for how inexpensive it is. So yeah, I kind of like this eyeshadow. Well, I uh, like the eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going to throw on lashes now. I like to keep them in this little case. I'm using our Dell lashes and I doubled them up. So now I'm just uh, blending my real eyelashes in because my eyelashes are like really blonde. Um, I'm using the uh, Too Faced... Oh Lord, <laughs> Too Faced um, Better Than Sex, no, sorry, Better Than False Lashes Extreme. This is actually the two-step um, that you can get from Too Faced, but I just use this because I like the mascara and it's cruelty-free. Put that on my bottom lashes. Oh, and then I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I do. If I know I'm taking pictures or like Instagram pictures or even just being on camera, I have a little trick to make it look like my bottom lashes are longer and fuller without using um, like like uh, falsies, is I take this um, Anastasia of Beverly Hills little eyebrow brush because it's pretty hard and really thin, and I just take my uh, liquid liner, put a little bit on the tip of this brush, and then I'll go in and do like little... Sorry, it's hard to talk and do it, but I'll do like little swipes and make like little little lashes so it kind of looks like my lashes in pictures. 
so it's like faking it. So obviously not everybody has to do this step, but if you have like no lashes like me, um, it just kind of looks better in pictures and that's why I, why I do it. This eyelash is just being a bitch. I'm like considering taking it off and putting it back on, but I think I'm just too lazy. Now I'm just going to take my um, concealer and kind of just go over, go back over it because I had like fallout and some of my eyeshadows like smeared in. So I'm actually just going to take my finger and like pat this out without messing up the work I just did under my eye. And then if I feel like I have too much, I just take like a washcloth. I always have a washcloth whenever I'm doing my makeup to like dry my brushes off and stuff. And then if there's little places, um, like right here, I'll just take a little brush. This is actually the East Beanie brush. Um, not bad actually. I like this Anastasia brush and I'm just going to put a little bit of eyeliner on that and then I'm going to try to go I go over this so you can't see it. Oh, and there we go. We fixed the wonky eyelash. Okay, so now it's time for bronzer. Brace yourselves. You guys know me and bronzer. I actually went out and bought the NYC bronzer. You guys recommended this to me. And um, I really like it, and it's cruelty-free. So thank you guys for that. So I don't like how white I am during the winter time so I really just load myself up with bronzer um, I just feel like it makes me look a little bit healthier if I do it right and <laughs> don't like put too much of it on but I'll just like put it in certain spots and then obviously I put it up here because my forehead's really big so I try to like make it smaller I think that like it makes it a little bit smaller when I put bronzer like um, I think they call it like the bronzer helmet but you really gotta blend it in so it doesn't look too bad. But normally, like during winter, like this will all be covered. I'll be like covered in a scarf, so you can't really see like my neck and see how how much I bronze my my face. <laughs> I'm just gonna put some a little bit of concealer down like just the bridge part of my nose, make that nose strong. And we'll put a little highlight on. For highlight, I use the um, Sigma Large Angled F40 brush. And I love the Mary Lou highlighter from Balm Cosmetics. So I'm just going to put some of that, like just a little bit. I don't like going too crazy with highlighter. I know it's like the thing right now, but I don't know. I feel like some people get a little carried away with their highlight and their face looks like a light bulb. <laughs> I don't want my face to look that highlighty. Okay, so now time for lips. I'm going to be throwing on Faded by Lime Crime. This is their Velvet Tea lip stuff and I really like it. It's really pretty. I like the color. My lips are like naturally crooked. I know everyone thinks it's from me getting like too much filler or something in my lips. I don't get filler in my lips. I haven't in a really long time, but um, you gotta let this stuff dry, but anyways, my lips are like naturally crooked. Nobody's face is like completely symmetrical, so my lips are crooked. Try to even it out when I do it, but I never seem to get it right, and it always just kind of looks like all jacked up. <laughs> you know, I forgot to put a little bit of blush on, get a little bit of color to my face. So I'm just gonna be taking um, Tarte and Exposed. This is like the only blush I really own. Um, isn't that weird? I don't think I own any other blushes. I think literally this is the only blush that I own. Just put a little bit on my cheeks right there. I'm going to be taking um, NYX in Stone Foxy. This is just like a gloss. And once this is completely dried, I'm just going to put this um, over it. And um, now that that's kind of all done, I'm noticing that I did like rub off a lot of my highlight in the corner of my eyes. So I'm just going to go in and just like pop that back on. I'm actually going to go ahead and use the new um, Ace Vini brush. It's just like a little um, like pencil brush and I'm just going to put a little inner corner of my eye right here. 
I think I'm done. I really need to do my hair, but I'm I'm not gonna do it, you guys. <laughs> I hope that you guys liked this get ready with me. Let me know if you guys liked the makeup. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this. If you want to see more get ready with me's, um, definitely give this video a thumbs up. That's kind of how I like feel out whether or not you guys want to keep watching these or not. And I'm going to laugh hysterically if my bronzer looks as bad as it did in my last two get ready with me's. I don't know why, but like. <laughs> I sometimes I just go a little crazy with the bronzer and I can't see what it looks like on camera, but um, I love you guys. Thank you again so much for supporting my channel. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.